This is where the desperate and the dangerous live, a sprawling prison camp in northern Syria where the jailers warn the embers of the Islamic State still smolder. Jabertia Mustafa, who manages the camp, says ISIS ideology is spreading across it. It's a threat to everyone, he says. The camp holds some 60,000 people, mainly families of ISIS militants, now either dead in prison or at large. Many arrived in 2019 after the Kurdish-led Syrian Democratic Forces, now guarding the camp, played a key role in defeating the Islamic State territorially. Spokesman Kino Gabriel says ISIS is using the camp to create a state within a state. Basically, we just moved uh, al Baghos, which was the last ISIS stronghold. Before it was defeated, we just moved it to al Hol camp. Dozens of people have been murdered in the camps since the new year, some reportedly for not following ISIS edicts. Iraqis and Syrians make up most of the population, but there are other nationalities too, the ones Syrian Kurds are begging their governments to take home. Hello, where are you from? Russia. 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 Yeah. Do you think your government should come and, and take you home? Do you want to go back to Russia? No, she tells us. She wants to go and live with the family of her husband in Raqqa. This area is called the Annex, the only place we're allowed to enter and briefly. There are about eight to 10,000 um, people in this part of the camps. We're actually seeing the kids are starting to throw stones at us and they're using slingshots. We're not particularly welcome here, but these are kids, of course, and we're gonna move back actually right now just because uh, they've got some pretty good aim. And they already know the odds are stacked against them. The generation camp workers warn are in danger of radicalization. There were some smiles today. 3,000 Syrians on their way home. How do you feel? I'm, I'm so happy because I'm going back to my home. Did you have to say you are no longer a member of the Islamic State? Yeah, we have nothing to They were released as part of an agreement with tribal leaders willing to vouch for them. Margaret Evans, CBC News, Al Ho, Syria.